What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Rue, and you were watching Chrono Trigger Part 24. And in the last episode, we went through Black Omen, and in today's episode, we are continuing through Black Omen. Uh, this is a very long dungeon, and probably one of the more, uh, well, the final dungeon of the game, essentially. Uh, there's really not much more after this. Depending on what order you've done things, uh, the way I've done them throughout this playthrough is, uh, you know, I did a lot of the side quest stuff first, and, uh, you know, decided to do Black Omen last since I do consider it in-game content, you know what I mean? So, there we go. Find some more ruminators here on the elevator. It looks like this one's going up, <laughs> so, um, I think, uh, unless my eyes deceive me here on the screen, uh, which can happen, uh, you know, perspective and all that goodness. Uh, this is gonna be another long one today, uh, just because, uh, like I said, I wanted to finish up Black Omen. There's gonna be some more boss fights, a very epic boss fight. And then another even more epic boss fight. <laughs> I just felt that it was it was good to cram it all into today's episode so we can get a lot of that uh, going so that way the last episode is uh, strictly lavish and end credits. So there we go. Uh, yeah, we're almost done with the series. It's, uh, again, very bittersweet for me. And uh, I'm going to miss playing Chrono Trigger. Uh, I will, again, like I've been saying in uh, many of these playthroughs, I will probably be doing more Chrono Trigger in some form or fashion. I know there was, uh, like I said, that really good ROM hack, Chrono Trigger Plus, I believe it was called, that I want to do. Um, might do it in a live stream format. I'm really not sure because, uh, like I said, I wanted to get save data uh, from this completed run to work correctly <laughs> on a uh, modded ROM. So, yeah, all that goodness, I, I got to work all that out. But uh, in the meantime, that, that's definitely not going to happen until the next LP comes out, uh, which will uh, more than likely be, well, I'll be finishing up Mega Man X2. Uh, before and then uh, I'll probably start I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I would be starting up the Earthbound series uh, and then about midway maybe you know a couple episodes in not midway I should say that uh, I'll start doing Final Fantasy 1 which I had a, a Facebook thing going on with it where I asked uh, you guys the viewers to name my party and I think I might do that again just to get some more submissions I did get a good bit like uh, about like 20 or 30 something submissions so I will keep all of those in mind as well as maybe start a new one because there were some good ones on that list that I will uh, <laughs> use for my Final Fantasy characters. There we go. Uh, but again, I will uh, link all that stuff. Uh, go follow Rooster Retro on Facebook if you want to keep up with uh, that kind of information. Uh, and that's only because at the time of this recording, I do not have enough subs to be able to post in YouTube like you see sometimes, which is kind of neat. And uh, I'm interested to do so, but I think I need like a thousand something. So yeah, let's pump these numbers up. I'm a rookie right now. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so uh, there we go. That's my rambling and ranting. Uh, we'll bust a Luminaire here on these Synchrites. Uh, again, I think these are uh, enemies that you probably want to go ahead and steal from. I forgot, but I think they had Ether of some sort or an Elixir, maybe. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, it was Ethers because I think they give them to you anyway at the end of the battle. Uh, but yeah, Black Omen. Black Omen is uh, such a huge place. Like I said, and, um, when we were going through it in the last episode, I was really only about... Uh, as far as covering ground we're almost done with black omen but as far as bosses and and some tough battles coming up we've got a long road to go <laughs> there's a lot a lot to cover today and um yeah these goons here these are the ones that don't react very well to your elemental spell so a physical type spell is usually oh god that was not a physical type spell because that's right that one has the wind elemental attached to it that you don't really see they, they don't make a mention of in the game so yeah that's that's not gonna do it either um yeah, Luminaire's not gonna do it, so yeah, straight up physical style techniques are the way to go with goons. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it doesn't even look like one confusion attack, or one confuse attack even does the trick, so I'd probably have to do that multiple times. Uh, Robo's probably pretty good here with the Uzi Punch. That'll do some, some nice damage. I'm gonna spread out the damage here a little bit. Uh, the Hear Ye, Hear Ye move. There we go, that one's... Oh, it actually took Chrono down a little bit. That's not too good. That's right though, it looks like I put Robo on the heel. <laughs> on the heal duties. So I'll boost them up a little bit. Not ideal, because, you know, Chrono's got, like, so much health. But, you know, close enough. Hmm, let's see how a cat attack does. Oh, that's not bad at all. There we go. Okay, nice clean thousand damage about. <laughs> and now that physical... Oh, that didn't do it? Oh, I thought that was going to do it. How about one more time? Chrono in the haste helm. That's the way it goes. All right. We've got an elixir for our troubles. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'll make mention again of this, that, uh, here in Black Omen, you can actually do this, uh, two more times, as long as you start the Black Omen in the, uh, 1000 AD period. 
you can go back to 680 and then you can go back to uh, 12,000 BC and do those <clears throat> black omens. You can keep you know doing them over. If you want to grind out tabs or items, whatever you need, uh, more Nova suits, Nova armor, whatever those are. All right, we got two Tubsters. Now, Tubsters, uh, again, I made mention in the last episode that they carry uh, power tabs. So I want Isla to definitely be charming these off of them. Did I get it? I got it. Awesome. Uh, because, yeah, it's just so useful. So incredibly useful that you can just keep powering up and uh, essentially farm it. Now, I think these, if you come back... All right, maybe probably the other ones, too. If you leave Black Omen and then come back again, you can still fight them and get more, more power tabs, if you so choose to. Uh, there is at a certain point where if you start feeding one character enough of the same thing, it will max them out and won't let them um, take any more power tabs for that character. So I don't really know what the rules are behind that, actually. I've never really uh, gotten too deep into that. I've always just kind of waited, you know, maybe until I've leveled up a good bit and then on my second playthrough, like on the new game plus, I would just feed them all the pronos to see how powerful I get them. Uh, not so good right now, though, as uh, he has fallen for the moment. Oh, great. He's not going to be able to catch up on any of that awesome experience points. That's a bummer. So, uh, a little menu action here. It's going to have to, uh, gonna have to suffice. Should have been taking a little bit more care of him, but luckily we got a, a boatload of elixir. Well, 19. That's not too bad. That's a good bit. Uh, of elixirs, so that'll just boost everything right back to normal. No problem. Alright. And, uh, yeah. Excuse me. That should do it. That should definitely do it right there. All right, and we got a door. Let's see what's in this door. Probably some, oh, there's a chest. It's some panels, that's what I was thinking was coming up. Uh, panels have speed tabs, so we can charm from them as well. Uh, you know, I probably could have skipped some of these fights just to cut down on the time of the episode. I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't. Yeah, like I said, these have all been edited for some time now. Uh, I'm just uh, doing all the commentary now. Um, I find it a very, uh, a, it's very comfortable for me to do my Let's Plays this way. Uh, that way I can... I'm kind of looking on it with fresh eyes too since it's been a little while since I've done it. That'll be kind of the same case once Earthbound is finished. Uh, since I'm still playing through that and haven't... I have started editing some episodes. I'm kind of trying to do them in tangent here a little bit better this time so I can start maybe procking some more out a little bit faster as I'm working on them. Uh, it's just that that process itself it takes a good... I think I tried to estimate this, but around six or seven hours, the entire process from uh, playing it to, just for one episode, from playing it to uploading it to completion on YouTube. So about seven hours, six or seven hour process there. Uh, you know, so that's, you know, about half a work day there. <laughs> that, that is a work day, yeah, that, that is an entire work day. So I, I find myself having to split up my workload, you know, I'll play some game, get, get some videos built up, and then I'll do an editing run and I'll start editing videos. You know, then I'll just kind of save them all up until, you know, either I'm finished or I feel like it's a good time to go ahead and start doing commentary. You know, there we go. Some background information. All right, well, that's it for the panels. And there was another speed tab in the chest, great. Uh, but for defeating those panels there, it does pop up a save point here. So I'll go ahead and utilize that functionality right now. And let's see. Let's use up some of these tabs, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll give one to Isla. Isla could use that. Definitely benefit from that. Speed tab to Robo. Mmm, maybe not. Maybe I'll save those. Usually I do like to give them to Robo, but let's see. I don't want to... I could bring Magistane and go ahead and give him his magic tab. <laughs> um, am I... Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> Here, Here's the bad part about uh, not remembering your edits from about a year ago is that you have to guess what is going on. <laughs> it's just because I don't make a whole lot of notes. Very freestyle here. And um, speaking of that, I've also been kind of thinking about how I want to do a, a review show because uh, I know I want to review completed Let's Plays that I finished just, for, you know, for like bite-sized uh, episodes of something, you know, some content that I could use some of these older videos from that I played through the, and, then, and then I can link it to, you know, to the, to the Let's Play itself. It's like, hey, if you want more, you can go here and check this out. Or if you just prefer bite-sized reviews, here you go, you know? I like to accommodate. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. I want, the, I want this gaming channel to take off. All right. All right. That's my second rant, I guess. And let's see here. A power seal. Um, oh, I guess one of those... Uh, might be one of those blue guys coming up. Uh, the wall ring is going to be good for... Uh, since she takes... Or since she's my caster, I want her to be protected from magic usually at all costs. 
I'll throw that Zodiac cape on her that Isla had. Uh, no, Prism Helmet's better. Much better there. And, uh, Magus's gear, he's usually, yeah, his Gloom Helm's better. Usually his gear is gonna be pretty much tip-top for him. Yeah, Moon Armor. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I'll check Chrono out here. Yeah. Uh, I will never need to, uh, upgrade his weapon anymore. So there's that. I'll save one more time, channel, just with my configuration going through the rest of it, uh, you know, because we're about to start the boss gauntlet here. There's gonna be a few bosses. Um, some serious battles here. Let's get everybody up to as, as full as I can. I think I'm out of shelters. It looks like I'm out of shelters, so that's why I'm not using them there at the save point. In case you were wondering. I believe I ran out of those in the last episode. <laughs> oh, and before we can get these treasure chests here, let's see what we've got to contend with. First of, uh, one of the few bosses here of this episode. Oh, it is another one of these mutant alien things. It's the Terra Mutant. So we've had the Mega Mutant, the Giga Mutant, and the Terra Mutant now. Yeah, there's a lot of alien life form here. It's, it's like they've, uh... Well, taken a lot of enemies from, like, all different time periods, I think, and kind of just, like, crunched them into one kind of thing. Because, you know, the, there, there are reskins, and I'm not really kind of... Kind of not really talking about that so much, but... You know, the Tubsters, they're obviously Hecran uh, reskins. So, you know, that's an enemy from the... Call it 1080. Although this is kind of a more unique model, at least uh, specific to this boss type of these mutants. They're not, excuse me, not quite as the same type of mutants that we saw in the future in 2300 AD, but they're uh, just as much of a bastard, really. <laughs> this one's just a bit tougher. All right, so let's throw some haste down, get Ma uh, Magus the Mage here up to par. Uh, looks like we'll be busting the Luminaire. Seems to be working just fine. Uh, now I did notice in the last, the last attack there, I th am I healing one of these? Yeah, bottom's getting healed by it, so... Oh, what is that? That is annoying. Oh my goodness! Okay, well, <laughs> that is interesting. It, uh, it absorbs... I'm just, okay, so it can heal its top part from the bottom part, but it, it literally does a drain move on the bottom part, so... Bottom guides for physics. okay, that doesn't seem to work very well either. Oh, this is not very ideal. Oh, great! He's got a Life Shaver attack! Just my favorite thing ever! Right down to one hit point. Excellent. Alright, and uh, we'll use Magus here to pop up a magical wall for Marley. That way she can, uh... Again, you know, that's what I, I think that was my line of thinking. It's like, you know, I'm probably not gonna need this since I'm taking Magus in this party uh, to do these boss fights. So... He's got the ability to do the same thing that that would do. And I don't use it as much, and I don't see the need for it as much. Not as much as haste, anyway. Haste is the way to go. All right, let's hope everyone has some status ailment protection here, because this is going to cause chaos. All right, and everybody seems to be good. Good to go. Your status ailment has no effect on me. Terror mutant. Sorry. And again, I know I'm healing the bottom here, but I think I just kind of want to take out the top half first, and then... We'll see how it goes with the bottom half there. All right, that's it for that. Oh, and it just dies anyway, so top half is really the only important half. <laughs> oh, that was a weird fight. Chrono got a leveled up, nice. And don't forget these chests before we get out of this area here. We got a white rock. There's another one of those triple tech invoking uh, items and a mega elixir, which is always great. Full heals, full party, awesome. And okay, so make sure everyone's back up to tip top. Looks like, uh, I'll be all right with 50 MP with Chrono. That should be okay. Continue up this catwalk over here. And, ooh, another door. Very ominous. Uh, is this another panel fight? Oh, no, it's another room with something else. This is another... Oh, it's another boss. Boss gauntlet, my friends. Boss gauntlet. Oh! Okay. It's kind of something we've seen before. <laughs> Lavis is using his children to block my way. So yeah, this is a Lavis spawn. We've seen these before. Um, but since it turned the music to the boss battle music, I'm going to contend with it as it would be a boss. As I did back up on uh, Death Peak. Yeah, back when Chrono was dead. <laughs> Alright, so uh, magic barrier's up because I think this guy uses those kind of elemental attacks. Besides that, uh, that, that needle attack that I'm pretty sure is just a physical, but it hurts nonetheless. Chrono being able to do Confuse here is going to be a pretty righteous move, or anything that'll be single targeting. Lavis, or, I'm sorry, uh, Magus here, again, as usual, is not going to be very effective in this fight, just because most of his magic hits everything. So. 
I will just use him to fight, I guess, and just, you know, kind of take the damage. Um, that's not really dealing too much damage to Marley. There we go, nice critical hit on the face of the lava spawn. Very good. Um, now I'm not sure, this one might possibly have more health than the other ones did. I, I doubt it, but just because it doesn't really look much like a reskin to me. So. See how spin cut does? Yeah, it's just about as good as a regular critical hit. So, I could probably be saving those and not have to worry about it. Just using Chrono to fight. And there is the dreaded needle attack, which will bring um, Marley, it looks like, the closest to death here. Uh, so use her epic single target healing abilities to take care of herself. While Chrono and company continue to chip away here at the uh, Lavis spawn. Yeah, again, Magus just really not going to do very good in this fight. Uh, probably should have considered bringing Robo back for this, or even the last fight, I could have probably just kept uh, uh, kept Robo and Isla in the party instead. That would that probably would have worked okay, but looked like well, because I would have had Chrono in the party anyway, so it looked like Luminaire was doing just fine no matter what. Um, and at this point in the game, you really don't need to bring Chrono with you if you prefer somebody else. You can replace Chrono now at this point. Um, but I like Chrono. He's my boy. And he's got some of the most powerful attacks anyway. He's got the, the heaviest hitting weapon in the game. So you could bring Isla into this party. It would probably be just as good. She's got some pretty gnarly uh, single targeting attacks as well. Good. And let's see. This should about do it. That did it. Wreck the lava spawn. Get the hell out of here. I'm tired of your bullshit. 120 tech points. That's very nice. All right. And let's uh, do a little bit. Oh, let's see where we go. Black holes. In it. Damn, see, I'm not even close to dark matter. That's the one after black hole uh, that I didn't get in this playthrough. So, again, there's more reasons for me to want to go through the uh, another playthrough of Chrono Trigger just so I can show off all the stuff that I missed. Because <laughs> it's terrible. I'm just, I guess that's just me. It's just with this game, really. It's really, there's not many other games that I'm like that with. Um, as you'll see, I've played through Super Metroid already. I didn't 100% it, but I did beat it under three hours, so there's that. And uh, Mystic Quest, really, there's not much hidden there anyways. So I think I got everything. <laughs> I know I beat all the battlefields, battlegrounds, whatever they are. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we'll wipe out these panels. I didn't bring um, Isla with me like I should have. Um, was that a level up from Marley? I think that was a level up from Marley. So yeah, I could have stolen some more speed tabs, but... That would have just taken so much time. <laughs> so much more time than I would like to spend right now. And I still haven't gotten any shelters, but uh, I do have the magic tabs now, so I'll give one to Magus there. And Marley, she can use a speed tab. I'll give it to her. She can use a little speed boost every once in a while. She is kind of one of the slower members there of the party. So. All right, again, well, since I don't have shelters, let's get you some uh, full tonics here. That's all right, so we've got 19 of those left now. And mid ether, so I might as well breeze through some of these. I don't have to fill everyone up completely. Um, that looks to be okay. I don't mind a uh, slight handicap there. And uh, don't forget to save. Got to take a save there. Oh, wow. And, uh, it looks like a room of clones of everyone. Except for Magus. I didn't see Magus there. All main party characters, I guess. They'd just be leaving Magus out of everything. <laughs> oh, and it's his mother. Behold, my pretties, destiny. All the dreams that might have been, all the happiness, gone forever. For you, there will be no tomorrow. The Dark Omen transcends time and space, waiting for Lavis to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and you shall rest forever. All right, well, very uh, ominous tones of doom here. Um, oh, yes, this eternal nightmare. That is, that is more like it. And uh, that is the ruin of the Mammon Machine. Uh, so we're going to fight Zeal. Queen Zeal herself. Uh, let's start it off with a nice, happy Luminaire in your face. How about that? <laughs> yeah, it looks like the Mammon Machine has definitely been been tapped of its energy. I'm not exactly sure if it's still even in use or if it's just there as a relic of sorts. That looks pretty beat up. Um, not that it was really needed anymore anyway, because the Black Omen is kind of like the kind of like is the Mammon Machine now, I think, or something like that. I don't know. I don't really understand. What Black Omen's doing here? <laughs> Why are you waiting for Lavis to awaken? I don't get it. This is gonna. What? Aren't you floating in the air? Wouldn't it destroy you? I don't know. I guess he has the ability to miss, but uh, she's got some pretty hard-hitting attacks. Looks like that was one of those that uh, bring you down 
Not uh, with, like a demi spell kind of thing. Um, I, th I think her weaknesses are, are strictly just magical based anyway. So pretty much anything goes here. Uh, I'll have Magus throw the uh, darkness out at her. <laughs> oh man, yeah, family battle here. Oh, what are you, what are you doing to your son? That's your son. It's disgusting. But yeah, pretty much just keep going with uh, strong magical attacks. That's really the uh, best method here. Luminaire's gonna do just fine. It looks like it's yeah, fifteen hundred. That's okay. Um, and then uh, Marley. Let's see who needs the heals. Chrono for sure. Everyone really does. Well, except for herself. Magus too. Magus needs a little bit. Oh, and there's the halation move. Everyone's health goes down to one. Well, that's what it was. Halation. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible, but good thing I have these lapises on hand because, uh, yeah, lapis is an excellent item that brings you back up from the brink, just like that, and it's for everyone. So in the event of something like that, something so crucial that takes you all the way down to one health, use a lapis. Kind of get out of the danger zone, take your time, don't worry about it. There is a mild break there, and especially if you've got Chrono on haste, oh my god, it's fine, don't worry about it, you're gonna, you're gonna rip through this. Here comes another relation, so we get another lapis ready to go immediately. Um, maybe one more after that. Just to get everybody up there. Although it's probably moot. I'm just wasting through these. Because <laughs> I, I definitely want to save my be my better items like Mega Elixirs for, uh, for, for, you know, final battle. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's throw the haste up on Magus here so he can be uh, a little bit more comparable to Chrono here with, with the attacks. So I can get some more damage out here. I need to get some more damage output. Take Zeal down. All right, stop laughing at me, Queen Zeal. You're really annoying. <laughs> I think you're so clever. All right, in your face. Nice, that'll do it. Got a Mega Elixir for our troubles. Didn't get anything else out of it. Your powers don't seem to work here. Oh, I'll simply toss you into the Mammon Machine. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, so I guess the Mammon Machine does still work. Here it is. Ah, okay, so outer appearances can be deceiving. So let's start another boss fight <laughs> against the Mammon Machine, uh, which, again, I'm very unsure of how it works and uh, what its purpose really is. I mean, I know they explained some of that is, is to draw energy from Lavis, but now that you're up here in the Black Omen, no longer connected to the Ocean Palace and under the sea, which is the reason <laughs> that we were getting the power drawn over there from Lavis, because we were closer to him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, attack use to increase defense. Uh, so he's got one of those kind of mechanics going on here, or it, I should say. It's not really a gender of sorts. It's a machine. <laughs> uh, magic becomes attack power. So it looks like it's kind of like a flip-flopping back and forth here uh, between magic and physical, magic and physical. And uh, since Chrono is usually the hardest hitter, I'm going to have him probably take care of physical duties. There we go. His attack's going up now. And uh, there we go. <laughs> now it might, it might give Chrono another move here, just because he's hasted out. Uh, because it did kick off the haste from Magus earlier, that, since that was a one-time spell. After a technically, technically these are two battles. After a battle, it's gone away. You have to reapply it. There we go. Now, man, that darkness seems to be doing very well, very well against it. Um, and am I just increasing its defense? I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. To be honest with you, it looks like my, my physical is getting worse and worse. Possibly my magic getting stronger. So, I'll try some more dark. Nah. Yeah, we'll try some more dark mist. I wish I had the uh, other one for him, the other spell. And let's see. Okay, so, eh. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's actually doing it, but you know what? It's, you know what he's not really. Okay, I was gonna say, he's not really attacking me very much. Very slow on the attack, but uh, when they hit, oh, they hit a Chrono really, really hard there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll bust out a Luminaire and see what this does. It's the name of the machine. Looks like maybe it's just telling me that message to let me know. It's standing still now to let me know that it what kind of attacks it's gonna do. It's great. Usually when they stand still like that or something like this happens, it means a very devastating attack is probably coming up. We'll see. More Luminaire. We'll do just fine. What kind of output we get from this? Okay, so that's all right. Mammon machine stands still. Marley takes care of some healing. 
Magus there. Also looking a bit on the low side. Might need to do some, uh, might need some TLC there. Yeah, there we go. Cure two on the Magus. Do just fine. How about another Luminaire in a Dark Mist? And we'll keep this battle rolling. Yeah, the uh, crazy background right now kind of reminds me of a battle from Earthbound. You know, they kind of get that weird trippiness going on with the background, so that's pretty neat. A little correlation there. <laughs> All right, come on, Magus, let's do this, buddy. You're my hard hitter, man. I think he's doing just uh No, actually, he's not doing as much as Chrono. Chrono's still doing a whole lot. Point Flare, oh, jeez. Oh, not that bad. Okay, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was going to be, but it's not. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, I probably should have gone ahead and applied haste to Magus here again. That would have been a smart play. Kind of would have maybe chopped this battle in half a little bit. And we got a point flare on Magus. And again, only about 40. Not really doing much there with your attack. Ooh, let's try a, yeah, let's try this out. Let's try a, an ice sword. Let's see if that'll do the trick. I don't know why I wasn't using a lot of these duelies here for a while. Oh, man. Oh, that's the way to go. Ice sword, of course. One of my favorites. Yeah, so now I'll just kind of wait for Marley. <laughs> there, she could be useful in this fight after all. There we go. Oh, but that did it anyway. Okay, so cool. Thanks, Magus. Nice. And it just blinks out of existence. <laughs> As our silhouettes, I guess, fly out of the mammon machine. Ooh, things are getting weird now. I plan to live with Lavis and control the universe forever. You will not get in my way. Oh, idiots. Nothing can live forever. <laughs> the Magus song. <laughs> Zeal, a pitiful woman duped by Lavis. Wow, dude, harsh. I, myself, will bring an end to all of this. Prophet, you are doomed. I haven't forgotten what you did at the Ocean Palace. You will now forfeit your life. Okay, so I guess she has no idea that that's her son. I'm pretty sure he knows that's his mom, and doesn't care anymore. So here we are, an epic battle on the top of the Black Omen, which it looks like we're on the very top of the Black Omen. That's what I'm going to assume. I'm guessing that's the moon in the background. And here we go, Zeal, the real fight with Queen Zeal, her true form. As, uh, well, a pair of gloves and a mask is what it looks like, apparently. And, um, okay, so these gloves, um, let's see. Oh, yes, there we go. Don't attack that, because it will counterattack with a life shaver. Awesome. Pure, just pure awesomeness. Let's see what happens when you attack everything at once. It counterattacks with an MP Buster on that hand. <laughs> How cool is that? There we go. No more magic for Magus. Oh, and guess what? Since he hit them both, that's a life shaver. Okay, so what have we learned here? Fighting Queen Zeal so far. Don't attack the hands. <laughs> Stay the hell away from her hands and attacks the deal damage to everything. As you see, Magus has bit the dust. We have to spend some time getting him back, and Chrono is nearing death. Uh, which is, you know, not not un uncommon for Chrono, really. <laughs> he kind of dances around that all the time. <clears throat> so, anyway. Yeah. Um, I wanted to bring Magus to this fight just for that little bit of dialogue we got, and, you know, it is kind of cathartic here to uh, have him fight his own mother uh, in an epic battle, but, again... He's gonna kind of be a little useless, so he probably wasn't the best choice to really bring to this fight. Seeing as how I want to deal the most damage I can to a single target being the face here. Um, now, that you're really just gonna have to put up with what the hands do, again, because it, unless you really want them to counterattack you for some stupid reason, I wouldn't do it. Now, uh, it looks like that Dark Bomb, usually I think it hits things in an area, but it doesn't look like it quite clips the hand, so Dark Bomb is gonna be okay to use. And, of course, Ice Sword too. Should also be in your repertoire of attacks here. Um, let's see what that does. Very nice, 2300 damage. Looking good, looking good. Um, so that is gonna be the play. Um, in between just taking hits from the hands, having Marley uh, uh, strain her duties elsewhere as a healer, <coughs> and, excuse me, and then Dark Bomb with uh, Magus. It's kinda gonna be the, be, it, be the plan here. All right, and there's a very interesting star symbol. <laughs> That is going to do damage to everyone. 
And a good bit of it at that. That is a devastating attack. Uh, so be on the lookout for when that happens. Um, other alternate party members, I would have probably... If I didn't want Magus for the story, I probably would have brought, um, brought, brought Robo to this fight. I think that would have been a good uh, character to bring uh, to the group. Just because he would have had that multi-party healing. And... Um, yeah, that might have been a little bit overkill having Marley as well, so you probably could have switched her out. But if there was anybody I would have maybe switched her out, maybe it probably would have been Luca. Uh, just so I can still do, you know, a fire sword too instead of an ice sword too. Either way, however you kind of plan this out. This is, again, not an ideal fight, so if you want to see it, it is possible to do it in an un unideal terms. You know what I mean? So, there you go. Just like I said, because Magus just really isn't going to be able to do a whole, whole lot here. I don't want him attacking... I don't want him multiply attacking anything, and his physical attack just really kind of just sucks, so. But, you know, that's what it is with, with, um, wizard characters. That's how it goes, usually. <laughs> I know in World of Warcraft, you know, a mage is, um, you know, they're very good at AoE and, and stuff like that. I, you know, that makes sense. It's just, uh, comes with the territory, essentially. So, again, keeping up that same strategy, though, a lot of Dark Bomb. Um, let's see if I can break off another Ice 2. Or ice sword too. Uh, do I want to wait? No, I think I need to do a heal. Oh, that actually isn't too bad. Uh, healing round isn't going to be a bad idea though. I want to keep Chrono up. Uh, do I want to wait? No, I'm going to go ahead and rock out of Confuse. Seems to do just fine as well. So physical, magical, whatever you've got, use it. Use it on Zeal. It's going to do just fine. Uh, just, you know, again, though, take the abuse and the torment from these stupid gloves. <laughs> and, uh, this isn't gonna be too bad. Uh, does worse on Chrono, though. I'm a magic- I, I assume that's because, uh, Magus has just much more magical defense. It's probably a magical- re magical-related attack. Uh, that Chrono just doesn't really have much of the defense for. So, you could, again, uh, put on accessories to bolster your magical defenses. Um, magical evasion, all that goodness. Here we go, Ice Sword 2. Right down the, right down her face. <laughs> uh, such satisfying amounts of damage. I like that. Could be better. Could be better. Um, on subsequent playthroughs, you'll notice. Uh, you know, if you star out, you max level out, you'll see some, some pretty crazy, crazy damage out there. <laughs> and Dark Bomb's doing pretty good though, as far as a single attack there. And I'm really glad it's not hitting the hands, because that would just be devastating. All right, let's see if this will do it. One more Ice Sword to the face. Will this be it? Oh, yes. And, oh, there we go. Goodbye, arms. See you later, Queen Seal. It was not very nice knowing you. You're kind of a bitch. <laughs> How dare you insects come after me? Oh, almighty Lavis, lend me your power. As if she hasn't drawn enough power from Lavis? Come on! Now what are we... Oh, okay. All right, it looks like Zeal is summoning some more. Oh, she's summoning Lavis himself. And she still thinks she's going to obtain immortality. Well. Oh, boy. Oh, something's coming. Oh, something bad is happening. We're being absorbed. And uh, again, this is why it's kind of timeless here. Oh, and it's a, it's a Lavis Emergence. Here he comes. Not actually sure what time period this is taking place in, since I fought him in 1000 AD. Uh, uh, again, time-traveling shenanigans. Oh, it's Lavis, baby. Here we go. Lavis enters attack mode. All right, and this is going to be the longest boss fight here of the episode and the final. So here we go. What, he, what this version of Lavis now does is it invokes all of the previous boss fights. Well, maybe not all of them, but most of them. Most of the critical boss fights that we've had, he will invoke as uh, as the strategy to fight it. So there's going to be multiple forms here of Lavis we're going to fight pretty much over and over. So this one is using the dragon tank. Boom. One. That was a wheel, you know? That was probably a wheel or something. <laughs> or the head, I can't remember which one you gotta take care of first. And, um, 
these, these first few uh, battles here, they're going to be a little short. They're, he's not going to have a whole lot of HP. It will get a little harder as we go. This is kind of the gauntlet of the game. This is kind of like your boss battle gauntlet here. So here we go. He's going to change attack mode. And he's going to go to the next battle, which was that guardian robot that we fought over there in 2300 AD. I think it was part four. We fought that guy at. That thing. Oh, and we got a little bit of an extended music to this song as well. Usually the uh, Lava's theme song is just loops on the critical part. But here we get to hear a little bit of the softer part of it during this battle. Which is kind of neat. Kind of nice little touch there. And uh, there we go. We break down. So yeah, <laughs> very easy right now. Um, he's going to change attack mode again. And he's going to um, copycat Hecran now. And uh, every every chance right here in between, you'll notice that you'll get a chance uh, before you start the fight again. You can actually uh, do a little management here, so pretty cool. So it's neat. We get to actually have the little boss fight thing going on while I'm in a menu. Nice. <laughs> Hardly ever see that. All right. Oh, this music is so good. So good. Uh, what did I say? What Hecran? It's gonna be Hecran now. So that means, uh, I think, yeah, physical attack's not going to do much of anything. It's all about, ooh, Ice Sword 2. That's the way to go. Um, yeah, just mimicking Hecran at this point. So, magic it is. Uh, since this is a magical ability with physicality, okay, yeah, yeah. It, it still worked. Lavis changes attack mode. <laughs> All right, and it's the uh, Zombor. I almost forgot his name there. Zombor creature guy from the bridge battle. So we're gonna have to fight this strange-looking cricket thing. I guess that is supposed to be the legs or something. Very weird. But very, very intriguing programming here. How they did this. You know, they put something in front of it just so you can target just above, just like you did in that other fight, and just like the other fight. Oh well, there we go. Took care of the legs first this time. I don't think this guy can move around like the other, uh, like Zombor did. Um, but he can still use some of the same kind of attacks like that, which doesn't do much of anything. Yeah, this is a very weird uh, version of Lavis here. It's, it's very scripted, I think, uh, as far as, not not as far as the attacks, but as far as the modes and, yeah, changing attack modes. It's going to keep going in order of bosses that we've gone to before. Oh, all right, and that's um, Masa and Mew together. So that's Masa Mew. There we go. And, and since they're so kind to let us take care of ourselves in the middle of battle. I'll take advantage of that. Okay, that's definitely gonna need a little bit of that. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. All right. Um, oh, what was it? It was, uh, oh yeah, it's Moss Immune. So again, magical attacks, way to go. Don't think physical is gonna do too terribly much. Shoot, I forgot how many forms. What form are we on anyway now? Is this like four or five? I don't, I don't really count. Ooh, there we go. We got a nice critical. Ooh, there we go. Nice job, Magus. That's how you fight, buddy. That's how it's done. All right, let's try the Epic Ice Sword 2. See how this does. Very nice. That's what I like to see. That's more like it. And we get another attack mode change. Uh, Nisbel. Here we go. Over to Nisbel. The Nisbel style. <laughs> it's like Lavis is a martial artist. Try out my Nisbel style. See if you could defend against this. A hot speed racer. And uh, yeah, Luminaire, once again. <laughs> You'll kind of notice a very uh, common pattern going on here with a lot of these. Okay, actually, that didn't do too good. But it did decrease his defense power, so I probably could have just used like lightning. Like regular lightning would have done the trick. So now knowing this, let's try out a nice sword too. We'll see what that does. Maybe uh, since dinosaurs are cold blooded, maybe there's some logic there. Oh, here we go. Bust out some more lightning. That's the way. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take uh, just under a thousand. That's that's decent. And will I be able to keep up that damage here? Yes, indeed. All right. Change that attack mode. What do we got next? What do we got next? Keep them coming. Keep them rolling. <laughs> it's Magus, <laughs> who's here fighting with us in this fight against himself, sort of. Man, that's that's weird. So, you know, if this was like a game of Magic the Gathering and Lavis was the player, he just tapped Magus. So shouldn't Magus be, like, on his side now? Would that make sense? I mean, he is invoking Magus here. But maybe he's invoking Magus from that time period. Ah, not this Magus. Not this Magus. <laughs> 
Oh, there's that geyser attack that you use on us. So here, here you go, motherfucker. Here's a taste of your own medicine. How do you like it? Wasn't so funny now, is it? Oh, uh, and he's got the barrier changed. Just like normal. All right, so he's going uh, to ice barrier. So yeah, we get to go through all these cool little tactical changes here. Over and over while fighting the... Uh, this is considered the outer shell of Lavis. Um, this is his outer form. And he, he definitely looks a lot bigger uh, on the world map compared to everything else. Um, like right now, not as big as I thought, you know? I figured he would have taken up the whole... More of the whole screen, even though he is taking up half the damn screen right now. <laughs> uh, and I don't think there is any more to that sprite. <laughs> I've looked on the uh, website on the Spriter's resource, and uh, yeah, that's it. Just cuts off his spikes there. <laughs> Would have been nice to see a full, complete, um, full-on sprite of this version of Magus. Would have been very nice. But, lo, we did not get to that. So. It's understandable that you got to save space in these old-school games. They only had so much space that you could work with, and... You, know, you have to already deal with different cuts and different things that must be kept in the game, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. So, I understand why. Alright, and uh, just looking at my timeline here, I know that we are about halfway through, we're not even, or we're almost halfway through this fight. This is a long battle here, this is, most of this episode is boss. <laughs> so much boss going on. Alright, but I'll rock off the ice sword too, that's good, he's still got that barrier up, so that's gonna work for me just fine. There we go. Changing attack mode once again, and cycling through. Alright, we've got um, Azala and the Black Tyranno. So it's probably going to pop up a little... Yeah, there's a little dude there. <laughs> now there's a little tiny thing sitting on uh, Lavis' shoulder. <laughs> if you would call that a shoulder, I don't know, one of the spikes. His shoulder spike. There we go. So let's see, a little management here. Oh, looks like Marley's finished learning everything Marley can learn. So I guess I got her up all the way. Yeah, Magus is just uh, that one character who's just not going to be able to get absolutely everything. Probably not Frog either. I know I missed some Frog um, abilities, techniques as well. With the giant Frog Stomp. I'm aware of these. Don't worry. I'm totally 100% aware, and I will find a way to go back and do these properly. Oh, that did nice. That did nice against the Azala clone, anyway. Yeah, Lightning's always going to be the way to go with these dinosaur enemies, even though we're not really fighting any dinosaurs. It's still... Uh, is attuned to that weakness. So, using that to our advantage. Azala break. There we go. Just like back back in the day. <laughs> HP down. Alright, and uh, he's going to do the countdown, I believe. Just like before. Let's see how our darkness rolls. I don't think the, I don't think the barrier's down yet. Oh, this enemy. Let's we'll see. It should say it. There we go. Removes defense is now storing power. There we go. So time to go all out. I usually I should probably remember that that I need to wait for that. That's kind of a thing that really should be I should be more paying attention to. <laughs> all right. And oh, not ready yet. Okay, I need to wait. Throw down a dark mist. Just throw out all your most powerful attacks that you've got at this point. While we're waiting for the countdown, I might actually be able to beat the countdown this time since uh, I, either either Lapis doesn't have as much hit points as that boss did, or I'm just doing more damage now than I did before, which is probably more or less the case. Although it doesn't seem like the half thousand damage is, you know, it was probably a lot worse. I didn't I didn't have Magus in that fight, so I wouldn't really be able to give you much of a good description about that. But I did have Chrono during that fight, so and I know lightning attack works just. But it could be better. I don't know. I don't see. I don't understand why that's not doing any. I mean, if the if, if the enemy has a weakness to lightning, it should be doing a little bit more. I think. I know this is purely based on Chrono's magic stat, which is the reason he's not doing much more than 1,200. It's fine. It's acceptable. I'm down with it. Uh, just because it looks like that this is gonna do what around the same. I think. Nah, about 200 less. Not yeah, close enough. All right, and Magus is looking a little bit low on the MP there, so I'm going to boost that back up. Need my uh, Magician to be taking care of Magician duties, obviously. Oh, uh, he might actually get the attack off. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, 1248, that's okay. And, okay, he's only at number three right now, so... Shit, I should probably be using more of the Ice Sword. I really don't know why I'm not. I don't know if that was doing much more. I kind of now have already forgot the number that it was doing. <laughs> but just based on dual techs alone, dual techs usually do more damage than single techs anyway. And there we go. That was enough. Cool. So he didn't even have a chance. Very nice. 
Maybe it's both. Maybe I'm just doing more damage and Lapis has more or has less. All right, here's the Giga Gaia fight. Uh, mimicked. Mimic of the Giga Gaia. Let's see how everyone's doing. Uh, oh, yeah. It looks like Chrono is going to need some some ether love. There we go. Max is all right. Marley, I think, was okay. Eh, she's all right. She's, she's good enough. She's good enough. I'm not really too worried about her right now. She's about a little bit lower than midway through. Uh, looks like I, I bumped her up anyway. Oh, yeah. I gave her that. Okay. All right. So this is, again, uh, the mimic of the Giga Gaia fight. So, oh, man. I wish I had Isla for this fight. That would have been great because I could just... Uh, Use Falcon hit and just hit everybody on a line, which would have been absolutely excellent. Uh, but it looks like Luminaire again is the way to go. And this is the very spammable spell. Once, once you get this and a gold stud, I mean it's over. <laughs> That's what Chrono Chrono fights and Chrono Luminaires. <laughs> That's usually my style of play when I go into this game. And I don't think I had Magus at this fight either. Magus has been not present for really any of the boss battles that we've taken place in. So this is kind of like a nice chance to bring him around, let him fight himself, <laughs> you know, once. And uh, go through many of the battles that we've done through the entirety of the series. Uh, which has been great. Yeah, see, there we go. Like, Ice Sword 2. Oh my god. Really got to use that more. It's such a great ability. Um, I'm sure uh, against enemies like this, if I had had uh, Luca in the party instead, uh, I could have done the um, triple tech, is it like that, the, that big antipode spell or whatever. I can't remember what it is, but they, but Marley Chrono Lucas uh, triple attack is pretty powerful against magical based enemies. Uh, something again I'll have to show off on the next game for the next gameplay. But yeah, like I said, I have a notepad. I'm working all these down, and that's it. That looks like that was it. I think. No. Okay. Now we have to fight. The Lavis form of Lavis. <laughs> so get everybody up as, as as high as you think you want them. Um, full on would be great, uh, but if you're just about close like I am, it's probably okay. Just make sure everyone's magic is up to poop. Looks good. Looks fine. I think I'm okay. Um, no more copycats. This is fighting Lavis, and I think we could have fought him uh, just like this back at the first vari variation of Ocean Palace. So. I don't know if this is the exact same fight as that. That was a fight that, that you, you, you can't... I want to say scripted to lose. Um, because the destruction from the heavens attack, just like this, hits really hard. Okay, and it didn't hit as hard this time. So that's what kind of leads me to think that that, that, that attack was bumped up on purpose. Uh, that is a much harder version of Lavis to fight at that period of time than this one is. So, just something to take into account if you want to go and... Although that, that beating Lavis at that point, I'm not really going to spoil it per se, but if you do it, it is irrevocable if you if, if you beat him. That's it. So, that's all I'm going to say. There you go. <laughs> not to be too cryptic there. Let's hit the enemy with Dark Mist. See how that does. Very nice. 1200. Okay. Okay. Chaos Zone. And hopefully everyone is protected again against any kind of status ailments here, especially Confusion, the worst one. I think we're doing just fine. It's probably those Vigil Hats, and I think Magus has his own gear that takes care of all that anyway, so. Ice Sword and Dark Mist. Ooh, and a single spike to Chrono. That does not feel very good, but he's still okay. He's in the clear, I think, so. Still in the green, to me. Oh, yeah, there we go. Come on with that wave of dark magic. Uh, oh man, do I want to wait? Yeah, I was gonna say maybe I'll wait for Marley, but maybe not. I, I honestly, I honestly don't think he's got a whole lot of hit points. I think this version of Lavis is it, it, indeed easier than the other one back at Ocean Palace. Yeah, that's gonna do it. That's it. And I think we pissed it off. Oh yeah, we pissed it off. We blew its freaking head off. It's over. But this couldn't have done him in. How do you know that? We'll get to the bottom of this, Lavis. Yeah, literally the bottom of it. Let's walk inside the empty husk of his body. That's going to be just great. Ooh, and here we are, the Lavis interior. And the final area of the game. We're in pretty deep. That's what she said. <laughs> no turning back now. And there we go. That was it. The penultimate episode before the final episode. Next week, next Wednesday. Mark your calendars. This has been Rude. Thank you for watching the Rooster Retro Show, and we will see you on the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon to be reminded of future uploads. See you next time.